Well, hey friends, it's Mr. Michael back with you for another week of virtual online church school. It still feels a little funny to say, doesn't it? And that's okay though. We are glad that if we can't be together in the same place physically that, that you've joined us for this video and we still have a chance to be together. We're so glad you're here. And we hope you know that we've been praying for you and your families each and every day. And we hope you know even more how much we miss you. And we can't wait until we can actually be back together in the same place at the church again to worship and do church school. We're so excited for that day to come. And we hope it's sooner rather than later. But for today... We're together and we're going to start our church school time the same way that we did last time with a song. And this is a song that I love because I learned it when I was probably younger than most of you who are watching this video. And maybe your, your parents and your family members did too. It's a song called Jesus Loves Me. And though I've been singing it for such a long time, I never get tired of playing and singing this song. So maybe you want to stand where you are. I'm going to stay seated so that I can accompany us on the piano and let's worship God together by singing. All right, here we go. hear you singing at home. I wish I could hear your voices. But you know, maybe there's never been more important words to remember in that simple song, right? And if that's the first time you ever sang that song, maybe you can play it back later and sing it again with your families because we can never sing those words or remember those words enough, just how much we are loved by Jesus and how much we can trust him in all things. Now, if you're like me, on a beautiful day like today when I'm filming this, it can feel a little easier to feel God's presence, to remember how much we're loved by Jesus and that we can trust him in all things. But what about those tougher times in our lives, friends? Maybe when you are um, feeling just a little bit down and things aren't quite going your way. Maybe it's a, a friend that you call a really good friend did something or said something that wasn't very nice, and maybe it hurt your feelings just a little bit. 
Maybe it's when a family member is sick and it's hard to understand that. Maybe it's when you are up to bat. I know a lot of you are missing sports and, and maybe it's when you're that last person at bat and you don't get that hit that you were really trying so hard to get. There's lots of things that can shake our trust. And you're not alone. It's not just children. It happens in grown-ups too. And it happened to one of Jesus' disciples in today's story. And so we're going to go into the book, The Gospel of Matthew, for today's story. And it comes from Matthew 14, chapter 14, and it starts in verse 22. And now this story picks up in the Bible right after Jesus had fed the 5,000 people on the hillside. Some of you know that story where, where Jesus performed a miracle by feeding all those people with just a couple of fish and a few loaves of bread, right? So this story picks up right after that happened. So here's verse 22. Immediately after this, Jesus insisted that the disciples get back into the boat and cross to the other side of the lake while he sent the people home the people that he had just fed, right? After sending them home, Jesus went into the hills by himself to pray. Night fell while he was there alone. And meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land, for a strong wind had risen and they were fighting heavy waves. Kind of like last week, right, friends? Another storm has blown into the lives of the disciples, a real storm. About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them walking on the water. When the disciples saw him walking toward them on the water, they were terrified. And in their fear, they cried out, look, it's a ghost. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. And then Peter called to him. He said, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. Yes, come, Jesus said. So Peter went over the side of the boat and walked on the water toward Jesus. But then he saw the strong wind and the waves, and he was terrified, and he began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted, and Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. You have so little faith, Jesus said. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped and the disciples worshiped him. They worshiped Jesus and they said, you really are the son of God, they exclaimed. We all have those moments just like Peter had in this story, right? Sometimes we've got our eyes fixed on Jesus, right? And we can see him clearly and we can feel his presence in our lives. And in those moments, it's kind of like walking on that water, just like Peter did. But then there are the other times that we talked about earlier, where things are tough, where the storms in our lives come up. And it can be just a little harder to trust that Jesus is with us. And so in those moments, we want to remember what Jesus said to the disciples. He said, don't fear. I'm here. I'm with you. And when we can't remember that ourselves, we need to remind the other people in our lives. We, we need to remind one another that Jesus has got us. Just the same way that he reached down and saved Peter, Jesus has got us too. And when we call out to him and cry out to him, even in our moments of doubt, we can almost hear him saying, I'm with you. I've got you. And so in the coming days, I hope that you'll talk with your families about some of the things that maybe you're feeling right now. Maybe some things with this virus and our changes that, that are just, they seem to be everything, right? We stay home more. We can't do some of the things we love to do. We hear the news. There's lots going on around us right now that can shake our trust. But we want to make sure that we remind one another and share the things that cause us to doubt with one another. Share them with your families. Talk about them. And share them with God. Go to God in prayer. That's all prayer is, right, friends? Just talking to God. And you can do it anytime, 
anywhere and any place and know that he hears us. And so that's my prayer for all of us this week and always that as we go through day by day, we're going to remember this story and remember that we can keep our eyes on Jesus and trust him no matter what's going on in our lives. And so I want to pray together right now and we're going to ask God to help to give us strength to do just that. Okay. Will you pray with me? Dear God, we're so thankful. We are so thankful that you loved us so much, that you created us perfectly in your image, and that you sent your son Jesus to walk this earth to show us what it means to live for you, and that Jesus loved us so much that he would actually save us when we need a little help trusting, when we're in tough situations, but also love us enough to save us by going to the cross to die for our sins and then to be raised again three days later. Lord God, help us to remember that and to remember today's story, to trust you no matter what. And Lord, when people in our lives are struggling to trust or we're struggling to trust, Lord, help us to talk about it with one another and to encourage one another to trust you, to help one another to remember that you're there with us no matter what. And Lord, in these tough times, maybe there are other people in our lives that we can remind the same thing, that you're with them, that you love them, that they can trust you. So help us to know when God's calling us to point somebody to you and have those conversations with them as well. Lord God, we love you and we want to trust you in all things. And we're so thankful that you loved us first. And we offer this prayer in the strong name of Jesus, who saves us every time. And the one who taught us to pray saying, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Well, friends, we can't wait to see you again. We'll be talking to you through, throughout the week and we are praying for you. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another in your families and know that we're thinking about you and missing you. Can't wait to be with you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.